What's up guys, how's it going? I'm Julius. And also guys, how to downgrade your iPhone 3GS to iOS 4.1 or from, from any other updates like iOS 6. So you'll have to click on iPhone. I still have updates for this is IPSW.me. So then, if you have a 3GS, you want to click on iPhone, like it's an iPad here and stuff. But you want to click on iPhone instead of upload. Because it's just really slow. And then, you just select like, the one you have. It's been really slow today. But, iPhone 3GS. So I'll click on that. And then. Just wait until it loads. And then, and then we're still loading. You'll see these two iOS 6.1.6 and iOS 4.1. Click on 4.1. Because it's still being signed right now. And then, you just want to download that to right there. I'm not gonna do it because I already did it. There's no one that's done downloading. Just click it onto your desktop and make sure it's like an IPA file. So it should look like that with iTunes on it. And this next app you'll need is called iRab R7. But to get it, you need to turn off Windows Defender. So let's just type in Defender and click on it. Go over to Settings, which is right there. And then make sure this is turned off. The very first option you search off. And then you can just X out of it. And then you can download iRab R7. You can see right here. And then the last thing you'll need is called iTunes. I'm sure most people have this. If if you don't have it, I'll link all this in the description. So what do you do is you plug in your iPhone to your computer as you can see. It's plugged into the computer. And then what do you want to do is you open iTunes. And this works with the Mac also. So you just want to open iTunes. It's not open, it's open on this side here. Let me move it over. And then make sure it recognizes your phone. So right here. So go over to your phone. And so as you can see, where I was six right now. So first thing you want to do is put it in CFU mode, and I'll show you guys how to do it. So just hold, so hold, so you all you guys. So hold the power button and slide until it goes off. And wait till the wheel is done spinning. But also make sure it's connected to the computer with iTunes, with iTunes open. Yeah, okay. okay, and when it turns off, iTunes should like, no longer detect the phone, so I'll tell you guys from So, there. what you need to do is hold the power button for 3 seconds, and then hold the home button for 10 seconds, and keep holding the power button. After 10 seconds, let go of the power button, and then hold the home button for like another 10 seconds. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I try to detect a phone. So you just want to hit OK. And this is kind of the tricky part now. So for Windows, you want to hold the shift key on the keyboard. I can hear the shift key. And while you're holding it, click on restore phone. And then click on my PSW. And for Max, I believe you hold the, the option key and click restore. And then click on the thing you downloaded, like the IPSW you downloaded. And click on open. It's going to ask you if you want to go to 4.1. And click, oh, before you do, before you do anything, just click cancel. Before you do anything, you want to open iRab. Make sure it's open first. Click on yes, and then it should be open. You're on your, your page, and then you can do the thing again. Hold shift, restore iPhone, and click on the restore. Restore. Now it's just doing its thing now.
So guys, you should see this error message on your computer, which is error 1015. That's good. And your phone should show an you know, iTunes thing. So when it shows that, don't click OK. Because when you click OK, you messed up. So don't click OK. So your iRab window, I saw you guys to open earlier. You click on that. Oops, on that. And you click the angle here. So, I'm just sorry, guys. Keep the phone plugged in. As you can see, um, click on the second window, which is recovery mode. Then click on set auto boot. And look at the phone now. Should turn black. And then, and it just restart. Just like <clears throat> load. And don't close this out yet either. So I'll turn to another bar like loading, but it takes really fast. Let me show you guys. Show you fast. So now to the return. And then still don't ace it all that yet. And then your phone to turn on. So if you notice, you can't slide to unlock. So what you have to do is go over to the computer and click OK. So I'm just going to click OK here. And make sure that this thing is still open. And then go to the... And then it should load by itself. And then and just click on set up as a new iPhone. And click on continue. And now... The phone is now unlocked. I'm gonna show you guys iOS 4 with the iPod. And one more thing I'm gonna show you guys is on iOS 4. iOS 4.1. So, hope you guys this helped you guys. Because you know, all three of us on iOS 6 is really slow. So, yeah, I hope I helped you guys. Until the one. Enjoy this.